morning everybody i'm still in my pajamas <laughs> but i'm vlogging oh about what about this magical utility room <laughs> so i've just i cut some of this down for in the barn to go into the threshold thing and i had a bit left and i hoarded it and i've cut it down i've managed to get out of that one piece to to oh my gosh this is so yeah. dull isn't it <laughs> i believe people will want to watch that they won't want to watch that will they no might as well tell oh dear <laughs> oh it's all still you a bit shown them what a mess the rest of the house is like because of this magical utility room i have shown them what the rest of the yeah. house is like yeah and this was supposed to take two weeks well no i just said that yeah budget we didn't have a budget. Oh, that's up. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's not very easy to get to, is it? Well, only because there's stuff in the way currently. It will be easy. Why didn't you put it there? Because that wall's not as good. Definitely, it's a better wall than that. No, we decided to put it over there, and I can't remember why. There was a very, very specific and logical and clever reason. That's why it's I taken so long. Why? Because... It was something to do with the bee, I don't know. It Let me remember. Be might have been because of the shelves. Yeah, you could have drilled a hole through there and had a... <laughs> oh, golly. Golly gosh. I'm not getting involved. No. I don't know what to do about... The pipes, I'm putting some chunking in for the wires, but pipes, they're just going to have to stay like that. Be all right when that thing there gets painted too and the doors are up and the ow. I'm about to embark on the best job. Ow. That needs to come in. I am about to embark on the best job in the world. Very. And that is cleaning out the hamsters. Just out in the veggie garden. Oh, it's a terrible mess. It's awful. Look at it. Never mind. Oh, look, self sown Serenity. How lovely. Beautiful that. Let me flip you around. It's absolutely beautiful. In the summer, these go almost iridescent and purple. They're so beautiful. The greenhouse isn't in too bad a state. Other than are those seeds or are they mouse poo? Seeds. We've had mice. Yeah, hang on. The greenhouse isn't in too bad condition. Just, well, it looks dreadful in the camera, but actually I think it's only probably about an hour's worth of tidying up. We have had little critters in here over the winter. Little mice and I think a little rat. So the best job in the world that I'm about to embark on is cleaning out the hamsters. Did I say that already? Look at all of these lettuces that have self-sown. And look at all of that from out of the utility room. Oh, and my rhubarb. Oh dear. I was forcing it. It looks like it's forced its way up. Where's the lid gone? Oh, it's there. Look at it. Oh dear. That was a bit of a fail then, wasn't it? Never mind. Oh my goodness. Everywhere I look, <laughs> there's a mess to sort out. Oh, this is what happens when you've been painting for weeks on end. Never mind. I always feel like this before we go away. I always feel slightly overwhelmed and that I don't want to go. As soon as I've got these hamsters cleaned out though, and then packed the 
ingredients for some meals that I'm going to do out there because my godson's vegan so I like to cook something that everybody can eat and enjoy. I found some really good recipes, they worked last year really well, they were a top hit. Um, once I've done that, packed those ingredients, I've sorted out the spare room for Naomi who's looking after the house and uh, then everything else is just doesn't matter if it doesn't get done. Although I would like to make sure the kitchen's lovely and tidy. Wouldn't be fair on her to come and have to wade through my mess, would it? But this room can just wait until I get back. Right, he's cleaned out hamsters. We will start with... Anyone awake? Coconut. Look at his little face. Oh my goodness. He's sleeping in the doorway. Look at that little face. Oh, he's so cute. He's the hamster who's not particularly friendly, but he's getting there. Little Timmy. Little Timmy. Are you going to wake up? I don't think he's going to wake up. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. Where are you going? Hello, fella. Look at that little small precious boy. Let's do a thumbnail. Just put coconut in the sawdust while I clean him out. He looks so bewildered. Hello, sweetheart. Don't bite me. No food here today. Hello, darling. He's very cute. Look, isn't he sweet? Lovely colour. You're a nice little thing, aren't you? You're getting nicer. Yeah. He's usually bitten me by now. Cute. Oh, coconut, you are sweet. Ow, that's my finger, my thumb. Honestly, I can't tell you how much pleasure I get from these little hamsters. Where are you now? Oh, you're up there. Look here. Hello. <laughs> Coconut's on his wheel. Are you going to go for it, mate? What are you doing, you loony? You're coming out. Come on, then. Get out. You're looking for a little breadstick, aren't you? Wait a minute. I'll get you one. <laughs> oh, don't shove it all in there, Coconut. It's a bit long. Oh, it's in. It's gone. It's all the way down here. There it is, look. You are a funny little thing. I love you. It's occurred to me that you might have been wondering why I'd come out to the greenhouse when I said I was going to be cleaning out the hamsters. It's because I needed my compost bucket because I put all of their wood chippings on the compost. It's 20 to 4 and I've been painting and tidying and doing laundry and just all those last day before your holidays stuff. And now, did I mention, I did didn't I, <coughs> that I was going to sort the ingredients out for meals whilst we're out in France. So what I'm doing is to make life easier, I've got these little plastic tubs that came with a takeaway and into them for each meal that I'm doing I'm putting the spice mix that's needed so so far in here I have got chili turmeric I'm about to add garam masala cumin and coriander ground coriander is that it yes and then another dish I need a fresh chili and I just need mustard seeds so I'm taking that um 
in these boxes i've got some peanut butter some spring onions uh, some snacks for the boys to take up the mountain essential because somebody always gets poorly um i've checked the ingredients on these these are all vegan i've got some apples in there some lentils things that i find a bit difficult in super uh, french supermarkets are things like red lentils I've got some coriander because you can't always find that either um actually you can always get garlic there why am i taking that aren't they piddly miserable little horrible garlics i haven't bought garlic like this from a supermarket in ages because i made i made my own <laughs> i grew my own and also I, it comes in my veg box look at that miserable thing wrapped up in a horrible plastic net which i haven't bought them sweet potatoes butternut squash i just wanted to make sure that i would pretty much got everything i just want to make sure i've got things that the little supermarket near us might not stock and although i will be going to the big supermarket because that's part of what i like to do when i'm on holiday <laughs> um not everything is easy to find there Sometimes it's there, it's just I don't know where to look because it's in a different place to where I'd expect it. I've just realised I forgot to order veg stock cubes. They were on my list as well. When I get back, the doors, there they are down there, will be on there. And in this room now, all I've got left to do is the doors are going on there. They're all painted. I just need to do um, the final coat on everything and the touch-ups. And then it's going to be completely finished. Just so happy. I will miss Phil, though. The builder, he's good company. You love him, don't you, Bunny? Yes, I love him because he always gives me some of his toast. I know, and I've told him to stop feeding you at the table, haven't I? I know, and that makes me sad because he used to feed me at the table. Yes, but Bunny, if you could control yourself, then it would be okay, but you can't. You start jumping on the table. Yes, dogs aren't allowed up on top of the table with all four feet. No. Doing with a little rattlesnake tail. Little rattlesnake tail. I know. I am a little rattlesnake with fur. Yeah, just stretch. Maybe I am. Well, look at me now. There's no stopping me. It's nothing like the day before a holiday to galvanise you into action. Just kiss the guns. I'm now putting bark chicken, chickens, chippings into my wheelbarrow to go and put them in the chicken coop. Poor hens can't come out because we're under flock down. DEFRA, which is like our governing agricultural health body thing, um, has said that all chickens have to be enclosed and under cover because of the threat of bird flu. So I'm doing as I'm told, but I can't wait to let them out. I'm going to get a massive electric fence run for them to keep them safe from the badgers and the foxes that are around here. And they're out all hours of the day as well, especially the badgers because they're very poorly. Just had a call from the boys to say, can you come and pick me up from the village? And Dad didn't want to pick up. Dad is not answering his phone because he's napping. He did just do two days of research. I know, but he's always away having fun and then he comes home and he sleeps. I'm going to have to beat him up. But we do need him to rest today because he's got a long drive tomorrow. And although I do a little bit of it, he does the majority of it, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, Mum, if I could get a licence, I could probably help at home. I know, darling. You know what? I reckon Ted, when he gets his licence, he'll do the whole thing. Well... I don't know what the rules are for driving abroad. Um, 17, I think it is. I don't know what the rules are in France. 
with insurance and all of that, don't they? But yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? I could knit and nap. Look at these happy chickens. We realised the other day, my friend Joe, who gave me the chickens, if you don't know the story about the chickens, she was moving house and everything had to go into storage. So I had the chickens and she's still not moved house. I've still got the chickens and she says I can keep them. Yay, because I love them. Um, I realized the other day that they're four and a half years old. And this one was poorly last week, but she's better now, but she's not started laying again. The gray beige one, she's fine. And now Cindy, uh, Macy, this orange one's not feeling her best, but I think she's coming out the other side, so she's stopped laying. But Cindy, the grey mottled one over there, grey beige one, she's still giving us a beautiful cream coloured egg. Sunny, the white one, lays a pure white egg. And Macy, Macy, what is wrong with me so? she lays a normal hen egg there but that's a good job now they've got lovely bark to scratch about in they've had a lovely time with the worms just going back out into the garden to pick a little posy for naomi oh it's lovely out here i know i'm not a fan of summer but spring and get behind spring. I don't know what these are called but I think that they're colonizing now in my garden. Are they a flower that begins with P like a Petrovsky or something? No, I've made that up, haven't I? I think I know what I mean. I'll have to do the thing where you take a photograph. You can do all this thing on your iPhone where you take a photo and then you swipe up and it'll tell you what it is. Can you hear that aeroplane? It's just landed. So now it's got its thrust, back thruster things on. I used to love that sound because it meant you were nearly there. Grab your suitcase, get on the crew bus. Party time or go home. Oh my gosh, these are just exquisite. Now oh, they're lovely in the bedroom for Naomi. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna have a glass of Prosecco. I know you shouldn't treat yourself. That's a horrible angle. <laughs> They don't smell. I know you shouldn't treat yourself with food and drink because that's a, that's a, what's the word? It begins with D. That is a thing to do. Oh, I hate losing words. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you betcha. I wonder if there's, I've got any sort of nice greeny thingies I could put in there as well. Oh, I think that looks nice just like that, doesn't it? Let's go and put it in her bedroom. Upstairs we go. For those of you that watched my video where I replaced the stair runners, excuse the bits of fluff, but they are holding up pretty well. Just need to tighten this top one up a bit. Bedroom. Some of you might remember drunk DIY at Christmas. <laughs> so you've all seen this bedroom. It actually looks very stark and not very pleasant on camera, but in real life, it's a very sweet room. But I do need to get some paintings up on the wall because look at that great big blank wall. <coughs> Hello.
Yes, as I was saying, I just need some more things on the blank walls. Hello. Hello, Bill. What's on job? And it will look absolutely glorious in this little room. Perhaps we'll have this as the thumbnail today. Well, Hammy's used to live in here, didn't they, Mum? Well, Hammy's did used to live in there. What is that? That what? barely shows up in real life. It looks really dark in the film. What are the dust bars? I don't know, sweetheart. Maybe Teddy's Ow, home. my toe. Just trying to get... Whoopsie. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, look what Compo's doing. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. I think that, chair, that table might be moving. Oh, okay, I'll move it now. Are you through? Oh, no, um, yeah, I'll put the table back. Yay! And then when I get back from France, I shall put everything that's in the hallway into the utility room. Yep. Excuse that noise in the background, that's the boiler. Ted's just got home, he's gonna have a shower, so I've put the heat the water on. Um Elena on my patron just asked a question: what's the deal with the window? It looks like it's partially obscured by the partition wall. Yes, it is. It's very annoying, let me tell you. So this is the waste pipe behind here from the boys' bathroom, which is that bit of wall there that hangs over. Can you see how it hangs over? It's hard to see what you can see on the, on the camera compared to what I know. So it goes around this bend. It's a, it's a bit weird. And then this wall here is actually the fireplace in the room next door. So we couldn't do anything about that. And the window has just always been here. In an ideal world, if budget, what's budget, Goda? As Toby said earlier on. In an ideal world, what I would have done probably is I'd have moved the window along but I'd have made it into a door and then I'd have blocked that door up there and this would have just been a smooth running thing but it's not an ideal world and this house is really old it's over 200 years old and it's just higgledy piggledy so we do what we can you reusing what we've got which is why I've just painted in this cladding and this cladding here which the I haven't painted that yet obviously which Bob who we bought the house from he was a um amateur carpenter but he didn't really do a brilliant job however he loved this house and I don't want to erase him from it I know that sounds terribly sentimental but yeah I just I am so there we go so this is the fireplace I was talking about that backs onto the utility wall. So the, the room's a funny shape because of the chimney breast. And this fireplace is at a funny angle. You can tell by the carpet here, look. Had to cut the corner off the carpet. Well, the boiler's shut up, but now Teddy's out there mowing the lawn before we go away because it's got really long. Um, oh, and the dog's barking to come in. So I'm going to say good night now because I've got nearly half an hour of footage. I know that will condense down, but for a daily vlog, I think that's it's, it's quite a lot to ask somebody to watch my channel for more than 15 minutes every single day. So I don't want you to get um, gainer fatigue. That's actually a real scientific syndrome. You, you can Google it. Just uh, it's gainer, G-A-Y-N-A, -A, fatigue, F-A-T-I-G. Have I spelt that right? I mean, I know how to spell my name, but have I spelt fatigue right? <laughs> I'd be no good on a spelling bee. Right, anyway, I, uh, right, anyway, so hmm, let's go. I'll go. I'll see you tomorrow. However, I am about to make Yorkshire puddings. We're doing frog in the bog or toad in the hole, which is where you cook sausages and then cover it in batter and cook the Yorkshire pudding. Um, I will... I will talk you through that and link to my video 
but I talked about it previously. But I'm not going to put that up today. I'm going to put that up tomorrow because I think tomorrow will be a boring day because it's we're just going to be on the road for 13 hours getting to France. Wish us luck. <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's hope the traffic's all right and that there's no delays on the tunnel. But, you know, hey, hey, if there is, there is. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you ever so much for being here. Now, don't forget... If anybody contacts you and the word telegram is in their bio and it's got a picture of me, it's not me, it's the scammers impersonating me, telling you you've won a prize and wanting you to contact them and then pay for postage. It's a scam, it's not me. And you know what is the most frustrating thing? I can do nothing about it. Until they've done put up all the comments, which typically happens when I'm asleep, I can block them and delete them, but they just keep coming back. Um, oh, low battery. Um, there's nothing I can do. Even though they're flouting YouTube guidelines of impersonation, they're impersonating me, and they're not me, and they're scammers. Oh, can't do anything about it. So just a heads up, there are no prizes today, but you're all a winner because you got me. <laughs> That's terrible, sorry, I'm going.